G'day everyone, welcome back to Nut of the Week. In today's video, we're going to talk about some knot terminology. I thought that would be really useful because uh, I, I know I don't always get it right myself, and I do appreciate that we're all learning. However, um, I'm trying. <laughs> we're trying very hard here to produce some really good videos, and I thought that uh, having some good terminology ones would would help keep everyone on the same page. So, let's get into it. Okay. Obviously, obviously, there's a whole lot more we could talk about as far as rope terminology and knot terminology goes. I want to keep this relatively straightforward and simple. I'm trying to keep this for a fairly general audience as well. So I'm only going to cover, if you like, the basics in this video. As we go into our knot videos and we get some of those, if you like, uh, to a high standard, then we'll be discussing uh, some of the proper terminology, I guess. Uh, in or the official terminology as, as we go on. However, we're going to start just over here. That is called the whipping. Okay, so the end of this rope has been whipped to prevent it from fraying. This is the natural fiber rope and it will fray if not uh, whipped properly. This section here is called the running end. This section here is called a bite, B-I-G-H-T. In this section over here, we have an underhand. Here we have an overhand. This is called a turn, where we go around an object, in this case, a piece of dowel. And this is called a round turn because we have gone completely circumferentially around the, uh, the piece of dowel. This is now the standing end because I'm not working on this piece of rope. If I was using this to work with to tie a knot, this then becomes the standing end and the remainder becomes the coil. Right, hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video. Yeah.